He has doggy dementia. He'll be walking and he'll freeze and he'll just sit there and not move. Sometimes five to ten minutes. I am Dennis Gerard, and this is Piper's story for GLP. Piper and his brother were dumped in a box at a shelter in Jacksonville, Florida. When they opened the shelter in the morning, the employees found them. I met Piper. He was really skinny and malnourished, but he came over to me, and we hit it off right there. The first few days was awesome. We showed him so much love. My kids, my wife. He was shy, but once he understood that we weren't going to hurt him, it was wonderful. I always tell him he's a good boy and that I love him and that he's my best buddy. Piper likes to fake little injuries with his paw, knowing that I'm going to give him a treat. You okay? Can you put your foot down? I fed the habit because it was so cute. Oh, you poor baby. You gotta get a dog treats. So, <laughs> I rescued him when he was two years old. And he will be celebrating his 17th birthday in about two weeks. Piper loves the mama. He's lost all his teeth about a year ago. No, oh, what's wrong? Well, then the last couple of months, he's lost his vision and his hearing. It was about a one-year process going blind. As he was going blind, I worked on training him how to get from the bedroom to where his water dish is, where his food dish is, where the back door is. Less than two months ago, he went completely dark. And on top of that, he has doggy dementia. He's not downing right now. He forgets where he's going or what he's doing. At first, it was only for like a half hour a night, but now it's like three hours. He does not bark as a result of the dementia. At night, he'll kind of whine and cry. And I just hold him like I am right now, get him close to me, and he calms down. It's very scary for him and me. I think he's adapting better than I am. I worry about him all the time. You're the cutest puppy ever. I communicate with him by constantly touching him. He still has his internal clock, and he knows when it's time to eat and when it's time to go to sleep. It's amazing his ability to walk around the house without hitting stuff. When I come home from work, I come through the garage door, and he's in the back of the house, and he'll literally wake up from under a blanket because he smells me, and then he'll slowly walk to where I'm at to greet me. I think about him all the time, and I am the whole world right now, and it's big responsibility. He still does it. In fact, I got some video of him today doing it. He'll lift his paw, and he'll just stand there. He gets anything he wants. He's got the best of everything. He gets the best health care. I'm spoiling him beyond imagination.